welcome to my metal of the youtube channel uh, today we will discuss about the factor affecting the extrusion force you know very well so we already discuss about the extrusion process and what are the extrusion types of extrusion process and classification of extrusion hot extrusion cold extrusion all are discussed in a before lecture so today we will discuss about the factor affecting the extrusion process so first of all we will discuss what are the factor which affect the extrusion forces so first is the one type of extrusion which type of extrusion is used that will be affect the extrusion force so first of all we will choose the extrusion process which will be needed for the extrusion purpose and what types of product will be produced that will be depend on the extrusion process so second thing is the extrusion ratio extrusion ratio that means in uh, when we introduce a out input material as a billet and that should be extruded um, uh, will get the extruded material um, and the ratio of input and output that is the extrusion ratio and that will be discussed will be briefly we'll discuss later so and the third thing is the working temperature at what temperature extrusion process is carried out and the fourth fourth one is the deformation and fifth is frictional condition at the die and container wall that means when we know the friction force work in between the die and billet and in some case we have two extrusion uh, two frictional force work and in some extrusion process we have one extrusion one frictional force so in case of direct extrusion when we will discuss uh, when discuss about the direct extrusion then we will see uh, the extrusion uh, frictional force uh, in case of direct extrusion there have two frictional force one is uh, die and billet that means frictional force between die and billet and the frictional force between die and container but in case of indirect extrusion there have only one frictional force and that is the in between die and billet because they are don't have any frictional force uh, any type of frictional force in between the container and billet so um, now um, one by one we'll discuss um, first of all we'll discuss about the extrusion ratio mechanical what are the relation between the extrusion ratio this extrusion ratio is denoted by the is the capital R extrusion ratio which is denoted by the capital R that means uh, what is uh, extrusion ratio it is defined as the ratio of initial cross section area initial cross section area as um, assume um, a0 is the initial cross section area of the billet that means th that material which will be used as a input material that initial cross section area is a0 and to the final cross section area is af after extrusion after extrusion process the final cross section area is af so it is the ratio uh, of initial and final so r is the equal to a0 by af this is the extrusion ratio in case of extrusion of steel when we will work out about um, uh, when we will 
x when we will do the extrusion of steel material then the extrusion ratio is 40 is to 1 that means um, when we introduce as a, a steel as a input material that um, that initial cross section area is 40 and when we we'll, it um, outcome as a extruded product that means um, put product that should be 1 mm that means if we introduce 40 mm mm 40 mm uh, extrusion um, input material then we will get the 1 mm extrusion product in case of steel but in case of aluminium that should be 400 is to 1 that means if you introduce a aluminium material 400 uh, mm then we will get the 1 mm material extruded product so in case of aluminium we will um, we'll get the better reduction i mean better extrusion ratio then we will discuss about the functional reduction in area functional reduction in area which is denoted by small r this is the functional reduction area by rate of reduction we also can say that it's a rate of reduction this rate of reduction or uh, reduction rate is r1 equal to 1 minus um, 1 minus capital f by a0 af by a0 you can say uh, you also know the af is the final cross section area or a0 is the initial cross section area so if you combine um, uh, friction uh, extrusion ratio and the functional area will get the relation between the uh, reduction area and extrusion ratio this is the r um, uh, capital r equal to 1 divided by 1 minus small r this is the relation between reduction area and extrusion ratio okay now we will discuss about the velocity what is the velocity of extrusion product or extruded product velocity of extruded product is velocity of extruded product is ram velocity into r ram velocity into r already we will all we will discuss uh, we discuss uh, what is r r is the extrusion ratio so uh, ram velocity if if its ram velocity uh, suppose its ram velocity is v so velocity of the extruded product will be v into r that should be the velocity of extruded product so uh, what is ram that uh, that material ram is that material which is used to push the extruded uh, input material which is billet or bloom etc so now we will discuss about the extrusion force extrusion force is p equal to k into a0 into into ln a0 by f you all you know also we can write p equal to k into a0 into ln ln we can write it's a r it's a capital r you know very well initial cross section by final cross section this is the extrusion ratio so we can write p equal to k into a 0 a 0 into ln r where k is the extrusion constant k is the extrusion constant it's depend on the material and depend on the process so k is variable sorry k is the constant to material to material so uh, a0 is the initial cross section 
so and uh, and a0 divided by a f is the is the extrusion ratio so we will get the extrusion force if you get the if we get the extrusion ratio then we will get the extrusion force okay now we will discuss about the uh, about the next thing is the effect of temperature on hot extrusion how the temperature is effect on hot extrusion hot extrusion we all we already discuss about the extrusion uh, types of um, working temperature that means um, hot working cold working already we will discuss already we discuss uh, that um, we know the hot working means the if a material is heated above the crystallization temperature and the temperature range is 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 into tm where tm is the melting point so we heat if we heat the material above the crystallization temperature but lower than the melting point then uh, then the uh, then it is a hot working uh, process so in case of hot extrusion process the material is heated above high temperature that means it's a high temperature uh, process so um, so it's affect the die life it affect the container wall so uh, as it is affect the die life or container wall so we need some prevention or some precaution um, that should be that should be uh, help uh, to protect the die life or container wall so, so uh, the initial temperature of tool and um and the material that will depend on the on the uh, extrusion process and second thing is the heat generated generated due to the plastic deformation due to the plastic deformation during the plus uh, as you know if a for every manufacturing process you can say every uh, metal working process we first go through the plastic deformation if we um, uh, through go through the plastic deformation so heat is uh, heat is generate generate due to the plastic deformation also and the second thing is heat is generated by friction already we we'll already we discuss friction at the die material die and material interface in case of um, when we you know, we have discussed about the direct extrusion and indirect extrusion we, um, there we see that the two types of friction work one is the die in and billet and container and billet that means interface between die and billet and container billet so uh, so uh, so we need some precaution or some safety device which protect um, the die life and container life as it is work at a higher temperature so it affect the die life and container container life so we uh, so we use uh, lube types of lubricant which uh, which um, help us to uh, to uh, improve the die life okay so and third thing is the uh, last one is the heat transfer between the between the deforming metal and the die and surrounding environment so here uh, heat generated by plastic deformation initial temperature of the tool and the material third is the heat generated by friction and heat transfer between the deforming metal 
and the dye and surrounding and this way heat will be generated so uh, so um, what type of precaution we use in case of extrusion process here we use types of lubricant normally we look in case of hot extrusion process we use glass as a lubricant material but in case of um, cold working or in case of any other type of working process there we will use graphite as a um, lubricant but in case of hot working process hot extrusion sorry hot extrusion process we will use as a glass as a molten glass as a lubricant material now last we will discuss about the dye material what types of dye material um, what type of material is used to produce dye normally dye normally dye are made of a uh, highly alloy steel alloy steel um, ceramic steel uh, ceramic steel the uh, ceramic is zirconia that means si3n4 is the zirconia this is used as a dyed steel and thus uh, in case of cold extrusion process offering longer tool life and reduced lubricant use and good wear resistance we know in case of cold extrusion process the process is worked at a very lower temperature so in case of cold extrusion process we do not want do not want um, uh, any types of lubricant um, or we can say uh, we can say any uh, we use lubricant as a graphite uh, those will be help us to um, get the better dye life and it give the good OER resistance and the what type of heat treatment used for the dye material materials um, life improvement this is the such as nitriding are the required uh, several time to increasing the hardness hardness is the property so is help us help us of the uh, improve the dye life so normally dye have the hardness is 65 to 70 hrc that means uh, uh, 65 to 70 rockwell hardness number value is the uh, the value that much of hardness value for a dye life it's best so i think you all of you understand about the what are the dye materials used and uh, how the temperature is affect and uh, velocity what is the velocity extrusion force and the extrusion ratio so um, okay thank you for watching this video <laughs> and in my next class we will discuss about the uh, oil drawing process so thank you